So what I've noticed about all these vlogs, it seems like people tend to just film their whole day. So I'm going to attempt to do that today, see if, I don't know, that's what I'm supposed to do. Um, kind of just used to filming this technical stuff. So I guess to start off my day is I got my iced coffee. I, I guess I drank it already, but I got to wash the subi or my daily because it's really dirty. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, well, I thought it took card and I don't have any cash. It looks like I can't wash my car. So, sick. So I'm pulling up to the shop now and it looks like Donovan actually beat me here. What's up, homie? What up, boy? What are you doing today? Yo, freaking street bandits hooked me up with a bunch of stickers out from LA. Hey. Pretty fucking sick, dude. Luckily, we have a power wash at the shop, so I'm just gonna wash it here because I got gypped at the car wash. But I don't know. I guess I, Adam LZ films every time he washes his car, so I guess I'm gonna do it. All clean. And look who decided to show up. What's up, buddy? How are you? How's the car? She looks so pretty. 2,000 miles. Four days and I made it. Look at that. 2,000 miles. So clean. Gotta appreciate a clean coop. Mishimoto. Word, yo. What's up? Free Freaking goodies. The lanyards. I want. Oh, let me get a penguin. Hey. Thank you. What? That's good. Yo, Shout out to Michi. Lit, <laughs> I got stickers too. I got stickers too. Oh shit. Alright, so last time I got my crappy nightshade roof, so I'm gonna go to the store now and get paint to paint this to match the car so it looks a lot better. Good old fashioned Lowe's. I know you guys might think this is unjimmy of me, but I bought spray paint to do my sunroof because my buddy who has the same colored coupe as me uses the same combination paint and primers and his matches perfectly like it is kind of unbelievable how well it matches so I'm gonna try with this first because this is cheap this is I think accumulate $14 um, if this doesn't match that well I'm just gonna go send it and just get a single stage color of it and spray it but I've seen this and it has proven itself worthy so I have the roof all taped up and I'm gonna scuff this up prep it for paint hit it with the primer and then hit it with the paint All right, it's fully prepped and time to send it. So I laid down the primer and it weighed pretty good. I'm really impressed with this primer. Um, I've used a lot of different primers and this is definitely probably my favorite. Primer layer is done. It's been like 20 minutes. You might not see me, but it has. So I'm gonna spray it black and see how that looks. So just laid down the first coat of black and it sprayed pretty even. So we're gonna see, let it dry and then do one more layer and then see how that goes. Second layer went on pretty good. All right, first layer clear went down pretty decent. Just gonna spray the second layer and then hope I don't mess it up. Right, Chow? What? Hope I don't mess it up, right? Fuck you, Jimmy. You know what I tell you, fans? Fuck you, okay? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> So my final layer cleared, it didn't come out the best. Uh, as you could tell, it looks like it has a bunch of, I guess, overspray on it. So with this clear, it disperses like a huge cloud. So that cloud like almost settles on other spots when you try and spray it. But I'm very, very confident that I'll be able to get all that out with like a soft compound really easily. So I'm not too worried about it. So I'm gonna let this dry probably for like a day so I know it's like fully cured and then come back to it. But I'm gonna pull the tape off now and then start to clean up my car because I have a bunch of overspray on it but you know it washes off so I'm not too worried about it so the other day I spent way too much time trying to get this thing to run and I just shut the gas off and tried to start it to clear it out so I could pull the carb and it started and ran great and then it bogged out so I turned the gas back on and it ran great for two minutes and then bogged out which is weird but it's running and so I gotta pull the gas tank clean out the petcock see what's up with that but in the meantime I'm just gonna ride it Just kidding, it's now just breaking up constantly. So I'm gonna pull the tank and go from there. So this petcock piece, which goes to the bottom of the tank, that releases fuel to the carb. I tested it and it is so inconsistent pouring. So it's probably clogged, so I'm gonna blast this out and hopefully this does the trick. 
So uh, Orion went and bought me, you know, eight 1552s <laughs> totally, right? Hey. Like Psych, I wish. Um, so when I was over there, I cleaned the crap out of the petcock, so hopefully, it seems pretty clogged up, so hopefully this does it. I'm gonna put some fresh gas in the bike too and see if that helps if it ever focus. There we go, chow. It is focused. <laughs> All right, so I eagerly, eagerly <laughs> just took this for a test drive, and it's surprisingly running really good now. So let's hope it continues to run good because this thing is driving me insane. So my big ass is gonna go have fun on this thing now. Fit bike is fun as hell. Uh, it's running pretty good for now. Hopefully it stays that way. So awesome. Neighbor Jim on the quad, never a dull moment. So I begin this day at my local supermarket because after watching the last video I realized that I have completely forgotten the most important tool in my garage so I had to go and re-up on it. So as you all might know, how can I forget? Alright so the first thing I have to do today is I just picked up Damien's wheel and we couldn't get the tire to seat on Hagrid's machine yesterday because it's not that good at 40 wall tires so the machine tends to bog out so I'm running the wheel to Firestone for Damien so my boy can get it mounted for him so he has a Magic set of wheels finally. <laughs> it's on there good. Is it beat ribs? Nah, it'll be <laughs> just use a lot of bead sealer. Let's <laughs> see if I can just do it without even taking it. That's alright. Alright. Lesson of the day is don't try to seat the bead if it doesn't want to be seated. <laughs> this thing is on there. As always, Jake prevails. <laughs> Outside camera. Alright, so we're back at the shop now. Tires all set and balanced and whatnot. So my goal today is to tackle this roof that I just painted. Um gonna hit it with a quick buff and hope that smooths out the paint and makes it look all nice. And then later I ordered a um toe correction kit from Jegs. It's basically two plates that you measure from to correct your toe in your car. So that should be coming in today. So hopefully I get that and I can do the alignment on my S13 because my toe is really bad and I'll probably do Donovan's car too while we're at it. So, Alright, so I was going to hit the roof with a buffer but I've never actually used a buffer on spray paint before so I'm a little nervous. I don't want to ruin it even just because I, I literally just finished it. So I tested a corner with uh, the compound just rubbing it in by hand and I'm very very happy with how it's coming out. So to play it on the safe side I'm just going to be Using this buffing compound by hand, it's going to take a little longer, but it's the, the safe way to go, so I'm going to bang it out like that. Alright, just for reference, let's do a little quick before and after. So, we got before. So I could hit it one more time, but it actually came out really good. I'm really excited about it. For spray paint, it matches pretty good. What do you think, Eddie? So, I'm pretty stoked. I might hit it with the buff again a little later, but for now I'm happy. All right, so we got Eddie out here. He just moved in down the way, and he has an FC RX-7 that he's doing a 1J in it, and I'm absolutely in love with the build because I love FCs and we all love 1Js. So let's go peep this thing. So this build is still in the beginning stages, but moves are being made very quickly. This is a original turbo car, right? Think. Yeah, it's the 88 uh, Turbo 2 10th anniversary. When I got it, it was you know, in mint condition pretty much. Uh, the motor blew 30 feet after I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, plans jumped ahead. I tossed the motor out. Uh, decided to go 1JZ and do a full drift build, basically. And uh, everything's kind of just snowballed. It was supposed to be one thing, but, you know, one thing leads to another. 
And there you go, you end up with a full project, a car. Full project car. So, but this is coming together really quick. Uh, he just threw together both his subframes, doing full PBM, almost everything besides the coils, probably, I think, right? Oh, uh, yeah, I haven't decided on coils yet. Yeah, I might do BC racing, or I don't, I don't know. I'm happy to decide it. And know. he's already set up with a, high, a dual caliper setup with the Z32 calipers, which is going to be really awesome. So, this car is going to have a good time. And he decided to go with a non-VTI engine because it looks awesome. No, because many reasons, but my favorite part about it is just how the valve cover looks. But he's gonna be using that with a 350Z trans and it's gonna be pretty cool, so. It should come together, hopefully sooner or later, but money and time, really. Money and time, really, that's what it comes down to. So I'm definitely gonna be filming a lot of this build, so stay tuned for this. You'll get a lot of updates and you'll probably see it come together, so. Because I always like to touch in and bother Eddie because this is really fun. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, I'm not going to get a ton of money. Dogs. Hey. <laughs> All right. So the roof is done and I'm really happy about it. Came out pretty good. So for spray paint, I would say that's not too shabby. It matches really good. Um, so the next thing I want to do is, I have no idea. Uh, so since I can't really figure anything out to do right now, I think it'd be a good time to do a little talk about the coupe. Um, so, so let's, I gotta start talking about it. So whoever watched the last video, when I picked up the new coupe, they know that this isn't my coupe from last season. Don't let it fool you. <laughs> So, I guess to begin with, I got my new coupe, came with a built motor, came with a cage, and a bunch of nice maintenance parts, I guess, to it. But, I bought it with a blown motor. That, that built motor is blown, it's right here. Uh, you can't really see it, but see, his piston too is destroyed. Uh, it dropped, ended up dropping two valves, um, but whatever, I got a lot of cool parts from it. I ended up being able to keep my big turbo for it and my gritty intake manifold for it which is shoved up there so those are cool parts that i'm still debating if i want to put on or sell and put into other parts into the car so what did i do i took my old sr out of my old coupe which is still a red top sr and i just put it in here so it is i Pulled that out of my old coupe, I refreshed it a little bit, and I was, and I kept all my fancy accessories that came with the new coupe, so my triple pass radiator, my gritty intercooler set, and all the nice odds and ends that come with it. So, I threw this in, out of my old coupe, like I said, three times already. Um, so this is running good, it feels just like my old coupe, because it is the same drivetrain. Um, I was able to keep the nice one-piece aluminum shaft out of it, and... The giant will would break so i did get a lot of upgrades when i switched to this new shell this one's also a lot cleaner um the body line itself is a lot straighter if that carries for anyone with a drift car and it's a lot less untouched so i was really really happy to reshell this so i was able to swap all the parts i wanted for my old coupe onto this one pretty quickly so there's not too much more to say about this i did swap out my full interior so i essentially brought this car down to a rolling shell um took all the interior i took everything out of it and i put it back together to make sure everything was good um i threw my old dash in it um which ended up literally cracking the day i pulled it out which you can't really say crack but that's really unfortunate but it's whatever it's s13 they all crack so i mean on top of that there's not too much more about it any questions feel free to ask I'll try to answer in the next video but there she is so if you're curious at what happened to my old coupe I actually I actually sold it to my good friend Kaiser um, he's a few towns over he has his own channel called infamous labs him and his boys are great dudes they're really funny and if you want to check it out I'll put the link in the description so you can follow his build thread on my old coupe all right so Damien just showed up and he's now throwing on the wheel wheels uh, but He's uh, decided to do some sketch shit. My fenders are already messed up, so yeah. I'm just gonna mess them up more. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna end up throwing these flares on them eventually, but I'm waiting two days for that today. Cool. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't do much. I think we need more cardboard. Fold it. <laughs> Oh my god. Let me turn my wheels. 
for bringing down my package because it literally came in, of course, as soon as I left the house because that's just how life works. So these are toe plates. Ordered these from Jags. Oh, oh look, a box inside a box. <laughs> what, what, why would you do that? Okay, let's try this again. All right, so the kit comes with two tape measures. <laughs> and these plates. So, quick rundown on how these work. This is awesome. So you take these, and you lay these on the face of your wheel, nice and flush, and you try to put them center, and you put this on both sides, and you use those tape measures, and you measure from here to the other side in the same spot, and vice versa, and once this distance is the same, theoretically your toe should be the same. So these will, I use these to line my Z, and my Z drives straight as a bullet. So, hopefully, this will do us well here at the shop, getting us some good alignments because getting drift cars aligned is not an easy feat because of the height. So my buddy just picked up a 180SX and he was on his way home from New York, so I told him to stop by. And this thing is absolutely hilarious. It has such cool potential to it, but as of right now, it is rice. But it's gonna be awesome. So this is a CA. I don't know if anyone even knows what a CA is because not a lot of people talk about them because uh, the mini RV. The mini RVs. RV. Yeah. So there's a 1.8T turbo, and that's where the 180SX comes from. But it's a Salady. <laughs> it's a real, real 180SX, and it's super nice. But it's gonna be really cool, and I'm really stoked for him. That's so funny. It's, like pulling it it's so funny, dude. So the rice continues. Look at this. Look at this mod. Dude, screw that. Look oh at that shit, dude. Wood. It looks like it's out of a fucking, <laughs> like a Malibu. Optimus Prime lost his face, dude. Look at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love this, dude. So I did it again. I got busy. I, I was helping my neighbor, Jimmy, actually. He just bought this old moped that he's trying to restore, and I had to do the wiring for him because it was all messed up. So, um, I didn't get to do my alignment today. Um, my little toe plates that I've been waiting for. And it, unfortunately, it takes two people to do it, and I really wasn't in the opportunity today to have someone help me with it. So, Drew's gonna come over tomorrow, and he's gonna help me bang this out. So, I'm gonna do that. Very excited. So, sorry I didn't get to do too much technical stuff today, but things will pick up. So, I don't know if I mentioned it yet in my other video, but I actually ordered a full hydro e-brake setup from the from the e-brake itself all the way down to the caliper. So I'm really excited for that. So that should be coming in hopefully at the end of the week, if not on Saturday. So that's gonna be really exciting. I'm really stoked for that. So I'll film that whole install and I'll film some testing of the install. So stay tuned. So like always, please like, subscribe, and share the video. I'm gonna do that Q&A that I promised in the last video, probably tomorrow, so we'll get that done. So as always, give me some suggestions on how to improve my videos and things you would like to see, but until then,